weekend, Arena Cross returns to the Treasure Valley. Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham tells us all about this fun event. He's live in Nampa in the Ford Idaho Center where the weather is always nice. Yeah, Brent and Natalie, I think that we're going to be seeing some pretty impressive riding that's going to be going on this weekend at the Ford Idaho Center for the Arena Cross that's back this year. This is one of the bikes. In fact, we're going to be meeting this young man here in about another 10, 15 minutes. His name is Ryan Brees. He is the owner of this Kawasaki. They race the 250 class indoors. And as you can tell, we've had a lot of clouds around the area and there's going to be the possibility of some occasional showers in the forecast as well. So as the pit crews are getting ready, there's no racing that goes on this evening. All of the racing is going to be happening tomorrow. The doors are going to be opening at five o'clock in the evening and then it's going to get loud bring some earplugs and these guys are going to be going for the gusto as they race inside the ford idaho center tomorrow evening and then something else that's really cool and that is on sunday anybody can come for a just a small admission fee can actually bring their motorcycles and ride anything they want inside the arena cross and have some fun and try and impress some of the local riders and some of the local sponsors see if you might be able to get some attention so it's a really cool opportunity for local riders to come out and try the arena cross indoors and the track that they're building that we'll show you in just a little bit let's go ahead and take a look at the doppler radar right now the temperature readings are been right around uh, the 40s and the 50s and on the doppler radar we are seeing a little hit and miss pocket activity that's going on here in the Trish valley associated with the broad area of low pressure that continues to hang around. So on the satellite imagery, as long as that low pressure center is still to the north and to the west of us, and it will be through the weekend, and as it moves in from the northwest, it has the potential of triggering some isolated showers in the forecast, kind of like what we have been seeing on again, off again here in the Treasure Valley today. And we will continue to see those this evening and we'll continue to see those on again, off again as well tomorrow. So overnight lows tonight, 35 degrees with temperatures at noontime tomorrow, right around 45. And at the end of the day, the temperature reading tops out at 48 degrees. Anticipate what could be occasional showers in the forecast. There could be a little sunshine mixed in there as well, kind of like what we have seen in parts of the valley throughout the day today. In fact, the clouds are coming in a little bit more. We were actually launching the drone. We had to bring it down because we were getting some sprinkles moving through the area. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you more of the inside of the track and have the seven day forecast for you. You're going to love what's headed this way next week. It's going to be awesome. More on that coming up in just a few.